every church came from the Catholic Church. Right. All of them. Right. Right. Baptists came out of there. Methodists came out of there. The uh, the Church of Christ, the one that they, they say they non-denominational, right. they came from there. Right. And they all worship on the same days and follow the same doctrine. That's right. Which means they God don't look like them. That's they right. follow That's another right. race of people Jesus. where they tell you your God look like your slave master. We family up here. We family up here. So, so like you said, my brother, you said that you're black, like your hair is black and stuff like that. All praises. That's true. Your hair is black. Give me Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon. One and five. Y'all heard of King Solomon in the Bible before. What color was he? A lot of people tell you that he looked like a white dude, right? That's what they gave you of all the images in the Bible. They told you that all of the people in the Bible look like this guy. Is that right? Who is that, sis? Can I ask your kids? Y'all okay if I ask your daughters? This question? Hey y'all y'all young y'all young sisters right there. Who is this? Who is this man? Who is that? Y'all know? Who is this? Y'all know? Do y'all know who this is? Talk to me. Y'all y'all family. Hey look, who is this person right here? Do y'all go to church, man? Y'all go to church? Good. You go to church? Y'all go to church, sis? Yeah? So, your daughter, who is this? If you don't know, say you don't know. We good. Good. My brother, who is this right here? False image of Jesus. And that's true. But this right here is actually what's in our churches, though. So, like you said, that you're black, Jesus Christ would be so-called black. And it's so-called because your skin is brown. You're not black. It just means we got melanin. That's what we use to say we're melanated people. Right. All right? right. So watch this right here about King Solomon in the Bible. Let's see what he say. Read that. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. You know, I am black, but comely. What people say they are black and beautiful on the planet? That's us. Bring it out. King Solomon just said he's black and handsome. Right. Black That's and comely, right. black and beautiful. Right. That's right. what he's saying in the Bible. Jesus. But we don't learn this in church. Y'all read this in your church. What church you go to, if you don't mind me asking? We go to church in North Augusta. Church what? We go in North Augusta. North Augusta. Okay, we got a, a school in, in North, in, matter of fact, in Augusta. So now, so y'all go to church in North Augusta, y'all go on what day? Sunday. On Sunday, right? Now, did this, did this right here happen to our people? Anybody? Did this happen to our people, brother and sister? This happened to us, right, brother? This happened to us, right? So now, what was these people called? What are their race? What's their race? Because these are our ancestors. What's their race? If y'all don't know, y'all can say, I don't know. What would you call yourself? What would you say your race is, bro? African American. How old are you, man? 33. Now, I'm 39. I'm only two year. I'm two to three years older than the term African American. Right, bring it out. Yeah, sis, don't leave, sis. Don't leave. Let your sister learn she's a Jew. I'm finna prove it out of the Bible that y'all are the real Jews. So when you go to church on Sun, when you go to church on Sunday, you will know when y'all hear the Bible that. Hey, look, they're supposed to be telling y'all the truth, but on Sunday they don't teach the Bible. Right. They teach a feel-good sermon, we know. and we're gonna prove it that that's exactly what they're doing for money. So now, so you say you're African American, me and you the same people, but I'm not an African American because that's not what they called me when I was born. Right. Right. So now we're going to get what they was called. Give me Deuteronomy 28 now. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Bring it out. 
first, and then we're gonna go with Deuteronomy 28 and 15. And we're gonna prove because y'all asked the brother up there asked y'all what she raised. Y'all said y'all wanna know. Y'all gonna walk away from her today knowing y'all are the chosen people of God by blood. That's right. Not everybody can make claim to that. Only one set of people can say they are the true children of God. Yeah. But everybody yeah. walks around and say, Hey, God loves everybody. Right. God wants everybody to get the kingdom of heaven. Right. That's nowhere written in the Bible. That's and we're going right. to prove it that people take the Bible and say different stuff because people really don't read it so they can make profit off of us. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses is speaking to Israel. Now watch this. Now go to Deuteronomy 20 and 15. Brother, what happened to us in slavery? Name some things that happened to us in slavery. What's your name, matter of fact? Brandon. Brandon, what's your name, bro? Adam. Adam. And what's your name, sis? Keisha. Good. So Brandon and Adam, I'm going to talk to y'all primarily because y'all are the men. Because it's our job to teach our families. Right. So I will primarily talk to y'all. Y'all understand? Now, it ain't to say I ain't going to come to you, Keisha. It ain't to say. But that's on the permission of your husband. That's it. On his permission, we ain't out here to deal with deal out of order. We talk to the men. That's so now, right. this right here says, so we just read that God calls a certain people Israel. What happened to us in slavery, Brandon? Give me some. They stripped us of everything. They stripped us of everything. Like what? Speech. We couldn't speech. Oh, we couldn't speak. Okay. Religion. religion. They they took away our religion or our heritage. What right. what they take away from us, uh, Adam? Manipulated. Manipulated how? As far as what? As far as the Bible, you said they took our bloodline, right? You said they took our whole bloodline. Hold that. Let's get Psalms 83. Watch this. And you're 100 percent y'all are both right. Because these things happened and it's written in the Bible that they would do just that. Of what you just said and what you just said. And then, now remember, Moses is talking to the Israelites. He's not talking to any other race of people. Get it? Read that. Psalms chapter 83, verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. He says they took crafty counsel against God's people. They took crafty counsel, meaning they took evil counsel against God's people. Read. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. If you cut somebody off from being a nation, we are no longer calling ourselves our original names. Watch this. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why we walk up and say African American. Because what they said, what they came together to do to cut us off from our God-given name, it worked. Right. It worked. Now let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, 15. Read that. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So it said, if we did not do what God said, y'all have heard of Moses, even though y'all don't go to church, y'all heard of Moses, right? Y'all heard of him, you too, right, Adam? You've heard of Moses, right? So when Moses got the laws from God, he gave them to the Israelites. And he said, it's going to come to pass in your future. Meaning to come to pass means it's going to happen down the line. If y'all do not do what God says, something's going to happen to you. Read on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Brandon? No, I, what, what's a good curse? Give me a good one. <laughs> and I ask that because there's no such thing as a good curse. There's no such thing as a great curse. Curse means an evil. There's no good evil. Right. <laughs> That's what curse means. Teach so there's no way that we can have a good curse on us. That's right. Bring you understand? You understand that as well, right? You know, you've been up here for a minute. What you think, Adam? You think there's a such thing as a good curse? Is no, no. If somebody curses us, it's all for bad. Right. So God said there's going to be curses on his people. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
Mata Milia is the 12. Now, let's get where we will worship the wood and stone because he said that they would take our religion from us. Now we worship wood and stone. What's the two biggest religions on the planet Earth right now? Christianity and Islam. That's right. What is the images that they have to go with Christianity and Islam? A cross. What's the cross made out of? Wood. What about the cobblestone? That's Islam. Now let's see if God said his people will be following those two things in the last days. Read. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 64. Uh, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So were we not scattered? Was our people scattered among all races of people? We were scattered across the world. Not just in America. Up in Jamaica. Down in South America. Now we all over there in Europe and China and all of them as slaves. Wake them up. That's right. God said, I'm going to do this to you because you did not do what I told you to do. Eat. Read. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. Read on. And there. So when we get off those slave ships in these different countries, read. Read on. Thou shall serve other gods. We're going to serve other gods. Those other gods was beaten into us in slavery. Right, right. Beaten. Right. They literally took the whip, like y'all said, and beat those things into us. We didn't voluntarily go do that. It said we were going to do so by force. Read on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So our forefathers and foremothers did not know these false gods. Right. They didn't know who they were. But now we follow them today and everybody wants to hold hands with every race of people. Right. When those very same races of people put all this crime that we got in our neighborhoods there. Right. We look, we can't we don't have no access to no pipelines for drugs in our community. So how do they get there? Bring it up. We don't own nothing to transport them things over the water to us. Right. right. So that would mean another race is putting it in there for us to destroy ourselves. That's right. That's what right. about Planned Parenthood? We don't have the money to open up those things. Right. But why are the Planned Parenthood to commit to actually kill our unborn children off? Why are they in black communities? You can't go to a white community and find them. Right. That's right. You can't do it. But our people will say that's a good thing. You know what? I don't want this baby, but I want to have sex. That's what our people are doing. We are the masters at fornication. But we are nowhere nowhere near being masters of being parents. Right. That's, right. Right. That's right. That's what the Bible is talking about. Because we did not want to be parents and raise our children right, we are in slavery today. Right. Read on. Right. Read on. So when we get off those slave ships, we're going to worship wood and stone. Is it more on that? Read. Even... Wood and stone. And that's exactly what we follow now. We follow wood and stone. Christianity and Islam is the two biggest religions on the planet. And God said his people would be in them. Now, mind you, let's go back up to 40, uh, 47. Now we're going to read verse 47. Yep. And then we're going to show you that slave ships is in the Bible. Because the only people. So now you understand, right? Yeah, so we're about to walk in church. yeah but, but did you understand that was no, talking about us, though? I follow you, no, but did you understand that was talking about us, though? It. What did he call their race then? Because remember, Moses was talking to a specific set of people. Israel. He did not call y'all African American. He called y'all the Jews. Y'all are the real Jews on the planet. That's who y'all are. Your daughters are Jews, bro. Like when you read about Christ, let's see. Go to Hebrews. Watch this about Christ. He's a Jew. And he was a black man. Right. But they'll give us this image right here in church and say, that's the Jew. And that's Christ. But everybody knows that's false. Everybody knows that's false. So if he looked like us and he was a Jew, then who in the world are we? How you doing, my sister? Good, good. Now watch this. We're going to read the tribe of Christ. Read that. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Yeah. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Have you ever heard that scripture before, sis? You've heard that before? Now what does the Jews look like then? If Christ came out of Judah, what do the Jews look like? Bring it out. Do you know? You do? What color? The what? Bronze? Like who? Is that like me and him? Okay, so they will be so-called black then. Is right. that right? Okay, so it's not bronze. 
Go ahead and say they black. Right. Now, that's the term that we use because bronze is brown. Absolutely. So I get it. I get what you're trying to do. But a lot of times we identify with the word black. You say bronze to people, they'll look at you like bronze. That could be anybody. That's what they'll say. So we're going to read that out of the Bible. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Now, remember yeah. you said that Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Let's see what color they are. Blunt, bluntly plain in the Bible. Read. Judah morning. The gates they have language. So we don't have no protection. That's what a gate is for. Who protects us as a people, sister? Who protects us, my race, and your race as a people? Who protects us? Anyone? Okay. Now, no, but it's a dialogue. I like to know where people are so I can meet you where you at and give it in the Bible as to what God say about where we are as a people. So, does anybody protect us as a people? Do they? Who? God? Okay, I'm talking about people. God has protected us, but God has put us in this position that we're in now, too. Huh? I'm talking about as a race of people. Who protects us as a race of people? And not just you being protected. I protect my wife. Yes, I do. I protect my kids. But who protects us as a race and make laws to benefit us? Right. We should be. I agree. I'm asking who else? Okay. All right. All praises. So this right here says that our gates have languished. Who's our? There's no leaders in the black community. We have Al Sharpton who shows up to shut us up. When someone gets killed, they send him in to shut us up. Because we out there mad because you just killed one of ours. Now we angry and you send Al Sharpton in there to shut us up. That's why he coming. He get paid to do that. Right. Paid money. That means he's no leader. Right. We're the only race of people that use comedians and athletes as our leaders. Right. No other race uses a comedian, somebody that makes people laugh. That's the person that's speaking for us? No. God says our leaders have language. They're weak. They're weak. We have no one in the world making laws for us. Read. The gangster of language. Uh -huh. They are black. Unto the ground. That's plain. They are black unto the ground. The deeper you dig, the darker it's going to be. That's right. That's the color of the Jews in the Bible. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.